Hello. We're going to do a beginner's workout in the pool. Okay, I'm going to arch my noodle and we're going to push and pull. Push and pull. Keep those elbows near the body. If you'd rather walk it, go ahead and walk it. You are much lighter in the pool, so you have much less impact. So if you want to jog a little, little bit, have at it. Holding the ends of that noodle under the water gives you lots of resistance. Good. We are going to go to a jump rope. Now, a full jump rope is over the top and back, right? But we can modify that. We can do the knees, we can do the tops of the feet, whatever you are comfortable with. If you split your feet a little bit front to back on landing, it makes it a little easier. We're gonna work towards the full jump rope. But do what you can, go at your own level. Tap your knees, tap your shins, tap the tops of your feet. Whatever's right for you. Pushing down with your arms and bending the knees to bring the legs up to meet the noodles. Okay, I'm gonna hold the noodle out front and we're gonna do a single leg kick front to back. Let the noodle just drift side to side. If you want a little more resistance for your upper body, push the noodle down under the water. Straightish leg, just kicking front to back on one side. Go to the other side. Front to back. Try to do full range of motion. Whatever's right for you, but as I said, push yourself a bit. And we're going to do a sucker kick, holding on to the noodle. Now the noodle aids your balance. It also gives you resistance. Soccer kick. The side of your foot, kicking over to the side. Now, if you're just beginning, that's good. To the midline and across the body. If you'd like to bump it up a little, take it all the way over. Soccer kick, and then into a side kick. But it's up to you. Make it your own. Good. Let's go to the other side. So, beginner, beginner, beginner. These are all pretty simple and pretty much good for anyone at any level. Or if you want to bump it up a little bit in intensity, take it all the way over to the side kick. All the way. It feels good. Good stretch. And this is stretch and strengthen. Okay, we're going back to side one. And we're gonna do just a side lift. I'm gonna hop it a little. You don't have to. You can stand and do the side lift repeats. It's up to you. Let your arms do what they wanna do. They're gonna wanna counterbalance, right? Just let them go. Hold on to your noodle. 
And if you push down a little bit, you'll get some resistance. Good, let's go to the other side. going to do some back lifts okay this is a glute crunch I'm going to press forward with the noodle and if you want more resistance press the noodle under the water lifting the leg from the hip straightish leg And let's go to the other side. Lift it. Straightish leg. From the hip. So that you're working those glutes. I like to work on one side, at least sometimes, because you exhaust the muscle. You fatigue that muscle. Okay, we're going to do some mules. Bent knee, and you're just going to kick it back. Kick it back. And again, I'm just pressing forward, counterbalancing with my noodle. Let's press our heel out. Our toe is pulled forward. Nice, simple moves. Just keep your body moving. Good, and let's go to the other side. Heel kick. Bent knee. Bent knee. Heel back. Toes pulled forward. a kick. So this is like a little snap kick. Kicking out in the back. I'll push and pull, but slow it down to half speed. And a half moon kick, single leg, up and around. We want to make this full range of motion. So kick the leg forward, sweep it around, keep it up high, and repeat. I'm taking the noodle away from the direction of the leg. If you'd like to bump it up, you can jump a little bit or just stay flat, flat on your foot. Good, and let's go to the other side. Half moon. Dragging that noodle the opposite direction of the leg movement. Good. Now, we're just going to do a, a quick kick. Fast repeats. 
I'm hopping on that one leg on my supporting leg. You don't have to. You can just kick, 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 kick. But this is like a wild and crazy kick. Just kick as hard as you can. And the other side. See, very simple stuff. But it gets your heart rate up. It gets your body moving. And it feels great in the pool. Good, let's just do some hammies. I'm gonna push down in the front, pushing down straight down my body. Push that middle down, kicking one heel at a time up to my butt. noodle out in front and we're gonna stir the pot. The legs are going in a tip-top hop. One foot up, one foot down, other foot up, opposite down, and stirring. I've got my hands a little better than shoulder width apart on the noodle. Let's go in the other direction. And now I'm going to kick side to side. The noodle keeps your arms busy. And it also helps you, if you're just starting out, to maintain your balance. Okay, we're going to do a right front and a back rear kick. Right front, back, back left, sorry. Right front, back left. And I'm just pushing and pulling. other side. Good job. See how simple these moves are? They get your heart rate up. They work your muscles. You can do them at your own pace, your own intensity. Good. And let's do what I call Rover's Revenge. You've got a knee bent. You're taking the side of the leg up to the sky. And the other side. And I'm going to pull one knee up and kick the leg back. We're going to wind it down with this move. Squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back. And the other side. Knee up and then kick it out in the back.
Excellent job. Grab the ends of the noodle and we're just going to take a deep breath and twist all the way left, back through the front, all the way right. Let your heart rate slow down. And I'm going to take it diagonally out in front so I don't drip on my head and over the top. Stretch and stretch. Good job today. If you liked this workout, please press subscribe and join me again or leave me a comment. Thank you.